I am so excited to talk to our next guest. It has been quite some time since we had him on as a guest. Now, you've seen him pop up in interviews on this program, but we have not had him on as his own guest. And I've been trying to have him on for at least two years. We have a lot to talk to Pat Barry about, and he is joining us via the magic of Skype. Mr. Barry, are you there? There you are. Hey, Pat Barry. Hey, what's going on, man? Where have you what's been? Happening? Where have you been? <laughs> over there. Yeah. <laughs> Just over there for a bit. Holy smokes. I've you been asking. What's happening, man? I've been asking you to come on the show a lot. You've been ducking me. You pop up when Rose is on, but ne you never want to come on by yourself. Why is that? I, it, it, it wasn't wasn't my time to uh, come back out yet. It, oh. wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't me. It was her interviews, man. Even though... Even though I would uh, add my part here and there, but nah, it was that was that was for her, not my time. So can can we start from the beginning? Sure. You were supposed to be on this show around two years ago, and I was bothering you to come on. There was a lot going on, and I I'll never forget this. Uh, and I told you this on on Friday. I have a list of people, like a running list of people I want to get on the on on the show. And every so often, I'll come back to those people and say, "Oh, you want to come on?" And and I'll get a yes. You know, once in a while, most of the time, no. And you were on that list. And you were so, it's been so long since I've been trying to get you on the show that you were like at the very, very bottom of the list. Because like over time, I've, I've been eliminating people. And so you were supposed to be on um, a couple years ago. And I woke up in the middle of the night on a Sunday night going into a Monday because, of course, I was, uh, you know, doing the show on a Monday. And you sent me a video via text of blood going down the toilet, being flushed down the toilet. And you were like, I'm not coming on the show, and I'll explain later. And you never told me what that meant, what happened, why you sent that. And that was pretty much it. And so what the hell was that? I'm mysterious, man. <laughs> you are. <laughs> well, I've never – oh, hello, Rose. How are you? The tables have turned. Hey, what up? <laughs> yeah, she is in the – how are you? Hey I like this. <laughs> this is going back to the old days when Pat was the UFC fighter coming on and you were just in the background and we were getting to know you. Oh, yeah. Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Are you fighting yeah, Joanna? She... We haven't gotten a call yet. Okay. Yeah. We it's haven't. Just, um... Oh, can you grab the charger battery? Yeah, I got you. Oh, wait. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hello? We're right yeah, here. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, we haven't gotten a call yet. We're pretty sure that that's going to be next. I mean, who else is it going to be? I mean, it's, it's Rose's time to fight next, but we haven't we haven't gotten the call yet. I've gotten word that yeah, that's the fight that they want, but we just we don't know when yet. We haven't gotten told uh, by no, no nobody's no one's called me. Okay, all right, and you are her manager as well now, right? So you would know. Yeah, yeah. Fight or no fight, uh, practice yeah. carries on. Yep, fight or no fight, we're at practice, man. We're getting big muscles. Yeah. Regardless. So when the call comes, that we'll be ready, just because we're always ready. Okay. Stop changing the subject here, though. What 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 about that text message? All right. So back to the video. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Back to the video, and then the disappearance. Yeah. Um. For a little bit. Um. I don't know. I mean, how many people they know me, and uh, just the the. Uh, I'm not. I don't. I haven't had too too much of a. Oh, back, oh I haven't had. I'm not too ridiculous when it comes to a lifestyle i'm a pretty modest guy but i'm, I'm also hd barry so it's all or nothing hybrid die yada 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 but having um you know living a being a fighter one uh being a fighter being on the road all the time all the training all the things that come along with training just a lot of fighters go through uh all of a, a lot of similar experiences in their own ways and a lot of it eventually eventually and i was one had no idea. I'm like, I'm not a drug addict. Wouldn't do that. Doctor prescription pills. Lots of them. That's what it turned out to be. Huh. Lots of prescription pills uh, on top of whiskey and other things like that. Without even, not intentionally, not like, you know what, I'm going to get trashed on pills and drinking at night. Nothing like that. But it just starts off and then next thing you know you're doing way more than you're supposed to and it's been years and it's affecting your relationship and it's affecting your career and it's affecting your performances i was man i'm not gonna say i was high in all of my not high but right whiskey pain pills adderall whoo lots of it i had all of it and then and, and this, I, have i ever offered you any no you I don't haven't. even remember no you have not <laughs> okay all right cool 
That's because I'm your friend. I appreciate. That. I would never. I would never give you that because I'm your friend. I appreciate. Right? That. <laughs> but no, it just it, it it um it just it just it it started and then and then it just it was never a thing. It was never a thing that was a conscious thing. It was never like oh this is a, this is a problem or anything like that. But it had gotten to the point where I had prescription pills all over the place, man, and just bottles of whiskey all over the place. Not big ones, but the little small little shooter bottles and then not living the right type of lifestyle and that kind of stuff equals eating bad and then eating bad equals not training good, which equals losing fights I shouldn't be losing and not being able to perform and all of a sudden looking a lot older than I really am and just all these it's just and then all of a sudden I started bleeding out of my butt. Oh my. For about two years. Two years. For about two years. What? Yeah, for about two years. For about two years straight, every time. Why? Yeah. Why? Every time it was a business. Yeah, every. Yeah, every. Uh, I don't know. Doc, I mean, I went to doctors eventually. I had a. What did I have? What happened? A polyp. I had polyps oh. um, removed out of uh, somewhere. I don't know. I never saw them. But. Uh, anal fissures or something like that like hemorrhoids especially if you're a heavyweight man heavyweight and whiskey and a lot of pills boy that'll make you dry up pretty quick so no i just wasn't living the right type of lifestyle man it wasn't and it was going on i was getting away with it i was getting away with living a very unhealthy emotionally unhealthy like spiritually unhealthy just actually physically unhealthy lifestyle and um it was right around it was right around that time uh when i was supposed to do an interview with you yeah yeah, it was right around that time where it actually it just it just it got too out of hand, and um, that's when it became like more obvious, like not 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 obvious because it was always obvious, but that was when it started the the the, the beginning process of okay, some shit's really going on. Like I'm, I can't I can't lie about it anymore or or pretend that it's not happening. I'm ha- I have a problem, and I've been having a problem for like years, you know. Wow, that kind of thing. It's wow. one of those stories. I had no idea. You never told. I tried. I tried to talk to you, you know, off the record. So for anyone who doesn't believe me, I had no idea. Um, were you Were you in pain, like because of fighting? Was your body in pain? Is that why you took the pills? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, yes, yes, and no. I mean, I would. I would think it's more and more just mental, emotional pain. You know, just the the body's not reacting the way it used to, and then oh oh, is this what they call the end? I'm losing fights that I shouldn't be losing. Like I'm, 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 I'm performing at a level that's way beneath where I should have been, or where I've been, or where I should be. Like I'm not supposed to be. There are a lot of unhealthy people at a certain age that don't need to be that unhealthy. I mean, if you know what I mean. Like I was, just I was living the wrong, the wrong type of lifestyle. I'm not saying that. I'm 38 now. I'm 38. I feel 38, but I don't feel the way I felt 38 when I was actually 36. 36. I felt 45. Like, like it was, it was just everything, just the body becoming dependent on, it was mental too, man. It was just a lot, a lot, not, I'm not saying medicine doesn't work. I'm not saying that I'm saying just pills and that, just all that. It's just not, it's just not for me. Uh, it's, it's not for me because I want all of them. Wow. Yeah. You know, does that make sense? It's not for me because they don't have enough. Damn. <laughs> like they don't. I get because one if if one makes you feel like this, then what does seventeen make you feel like? Right. You know that kind of thing. Like, I it just, kind of ruins things. Like, and, 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 it ruins it like any type of other experience that you might like, because it's like the highest of the highest, like of just crazy things that you could possibly do. I mean, there's other crazy things like skydiving and stuff like that, but those type of activities. Uh, not even skydiving. There's <laughs> nothing in the world activity. that can compare. To getting in the ring and fighting another person yeah, in front of everybody, you just can't do it. And then when you're not in the ring fighting, or then when you do get in the ring and you fight, and you're not performing to the way that you know you can, I'm not saying, hey man, I know, yeah, shit happens. You get older and you slow down a little bit, but not that. It's just I'm performing at a level that is way beneath me. Like I'm better than this, and I know that the only reason why I'm like this right now is because of me, and it's all my fucking fault, and it's me. So what I'm gonna do is. is I'm going to get out of here for a little while. I'm going to go away. Not because I want to clean myself up for fighting or anything like that. It's I need to get the fuck out of here so I can save me, Uh my marriage, my relationship with my dog, my relationship with my family, with just my relationships with strangers. 
just people in general. I was living the wrong type of life and didn't know it. I wasn't intentionally. I was never intentionally trying to be that type of guy. But you really can't get lost in it, man. You can't get lost in it. Hey, you know, you, you can't. You ask Court McGee. As Court McGee's been a guy I've talked to a lot over years. I haven't spoken to him in a bit, but we 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 talked a lot. Everybody knows Court and Court yeah. and his story. We've talked a lot, and he's seen a lot of similarities in myself, and we've talked a lot. And I, I give him a lot of high fives, man, because he opened up a lot of thoughts and ideas in my head. And more than anything else, he said, yeah, you are, whenever I said, no, man, I'm cool. I'm, nothing's good. I mean, everything's fine. I'm not. I got this. Nah, you're, yeah, you are. You're just like me, Pat. Get off that shit. Get off it, bro. Wow. And that's what I did. I got off it. When Rose, like the whole thing with her cutting her hair, cutting the shit. That's what I've been doing for the last two years. I've been cutting the shit out of my life. Cutting my hair off because it was shitty. I was cutting out all that. What am I? How long has it been now? I'm a, I'm a little over a year oh, sober. sober. So Wow. No drink, no pills. Wow. Congrats. A little bit over a year sober. Yeah, man. And not only is that, not only a little bit over a year sober, I'm getting abs again. Uh-oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what was, was, was there like a rock bottom moment? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Rock bottom moment. Uh, arrested in Alexandria, Minnesota when I was helping Brock train for uh, Mark, Hogan, Mark Hunt. What? Yeah. Yes. You were arrested? Jail. we I'm not going back. <laughs> when was that? When was when was Brock? Last July. When, yeah, before the Mark Hunt fight. I was, what I was happened? main training partner for... I got arrested. I was trying to order a pizza and this guy was getting me out of hand and I don't I'm in a little ass town. There's I'm the okay, all right, let's start off with saying I'm the blackest nigga in Alexandria, Minnesota. Now I'm gonna right. say it like that. I'm the blackest nigga in Alexandria, Minnesota. I'm the darkest guy in Alexandria, Minnesota. Me. Right? So every time I go anywhere, everybody's like, Who the hell is this? Where the hell are you doing around here, man? What are you, uh, <laughs> you know, it was a lot of that in Alexandria. But it's just out there for weeks on end, getting body slammed by Brock and training hard and making sure that every day I wake up like the, like the way Rose is now with Valentina being in town. Every day Valentina walks in the gym, Rose is already jumping around going, today you're going to be a world champion, motherfucker. Like, it's been all day and night, and weeks away from home and just nonstop. And then when you're out there by yourself in the middle of the woods by yourself, me, I pass the time by doing dumb shit like drinking whiskey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> lots of it. Lots of it. So... Just one night, um, I came up with an excuse because I was lying to Rose about it. I came up with an excuse to go and get a drink. I was gonna, I was hungry, and I wanted to go and get a pizza, and that's what I was gonna do. I really believed that I was gonna go and get a pizza, and I go to this place. I'm not gonna have a drink tonight, and I'm gonna get a pizza. And while I'm sitting there, I'm I don't know if it's because I'm recognizable or or if because I was my size or what, but there's one, there's four people in this bar, and or five. There's these two girls with these two guys across the bar and they're sitting across from me and I don't know if someone made a face, but then some guy, he got, one of them got out of hand and when he got out of hand, I was like, oh, I'll buy a drink. I'll buy you a shot. Don't worry about it. I'll buy a shot. And then he kept getting out of hand. So I just buy more drinks, right? So in my head, he probably wasn't getting out of hand. It's just, I was like, yeah, you know what? That guy's getting out of hand. I should buy everybody drinks. <laughs> uh... <laughs> like, uh, so he was getting out of hand and I kept buying him shots and shots and, you know, and it's fine. And then everybody's drunk. And then, then the pizza comes out. And now he wants the pizza, but I can't give you the pizza. You can't have it. That's mine. So uh, not a fight breaks out, but almost a fight breaks out. I didn't know that the one lady in the bar called the police. I didn't know that. So when he wasn't looking, I get out the side door and I run to my car and I get in and I pull off. And as I pull off, I get pulled over. Huh. And the cop says, are you drunk? And I'm like, oh, very, very. So they, they took me to a cell. I got arrested and uh, sat uh, 15 hours um, in a jail cell. Now, that's not the bad part of the story. Oh. The bad part of the story is that before I left to go and get a pizza, I told Rose that I was going to sleep. Oh. That was it. Good night. Good night. We get off the phone. I'm supposed to be sleeping. 30 minutes later, I'm at a bar getting drunk, ordering a pizza. And uh, Rose... And I knew it too the whole time. I knew, knew something was wrong. I knew Wait, it. Wait, oh, it's my interview. It's my interview. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I know when this bitch is lying to me. <laughs> hey, so I knew it. Hey, uh, so uh, she had a, a feeling 
She had a feeling something was wrong. I call it Martin Intuition. Martin. So she called my phone and it didn't answer. And it didn't answer. And I always answer when Rose calls and it didn't answer. And then uh, she called Marty Morgan and he didn't know what was wrong or anything like that. And I wasn't able. They didn't give me my phone back until 12 o'clock the next day. Oh, my. Rose has been calling all night. She's in another state. She doesn't know what's wrong. She's terror. She's like, she, she knows something's wrong, but doesn't know what. And, uh, yeah, they let me out. Wow. And oh. then, uh, and after they let me out, Brock Lesnar told me, go home. Wow. Yeah. He, did, he did me a favor and said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> wow. And how, how, um, that was it. <laughs> How much time into the camp was that? Was that towards the end or at the beginning? It was. It was. It was the last. It was. It was. The, it was the like, the last ten days. Wow! Was, right, like the last ten days. And is that why you weren't with him in Vegas? Yes. Wow! And how did this, this never got out there? Right? I mean, this was never in the news. No, nobody knows anything. Wow! I. I. I that was the moment. That was the okay. That was the. That was the moment. That was that was it. That was I, I realized that I can't get out of this cell if I if they don't let me out, I can't get out. I can't physically I can't fit. I'm finally me, me, Gorilla Pat. I can't physically break out. I can't talk my way out. I can't sweet talk my way out. The one person I called hung the phone up and didn't answer. Who's that? Rose. Rose. Just disappointed. I'm just I mean, you know, like how how. That I don't need to figure out. This doesn't need to go any further. Okay. Shit needs to change. Shit needs to change. It needs to change now. And how did you change it? Yeah. That's where I've been for the last two years, or however long it's been. A year. A year and change. Yeah. How did you change it? How did you pull the plug on this and, and just did you go cold turkey? Crazy. I said stop cold turkey. Wow. That was it. No more nothing. Wow. No more nothing. And I know that I'm not saying that that's the way to do it, but that's the way I do it. That's the way I do it. I'm not going back. No more nothing. They cut it. It's all over. Everybody get the fuck out. Don't nobody come around. Don't talk to me. Don't eat this. Don't go here. And it was a bunch of habits. And, and if anyone out there, if this sounds familiar to anybody, it was never, uh, man, drinking's a problem. It wasn't that. It was my reasoning behind drinking. Why the fuck? Why am I doing it again? And what led to this? Going to McDonald's, not problem, no problem. But not going to McDonald's three days in a row. We go to McDonald's three days in a row. Now I feel kind of shitty, and now it's going to lead to this. And next thing you know, we're drinking on Saturday, and just no more of that. It's all over with, done. I never win, but not 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 turning back. This isn't one of those. All right, it's going to be a hard straw, and it was, and it's been, and it's been, it's been, but it's a constant. But it's not. It's no longer this thing that I've got to struggle with. It instantly was like, okay, so this is just how life is going to be from now on. Pat, don't drink no more, no matter what happens. No, I don't even eat rum cake if it doesn't even have rum in it just because it's called rum cake. I don't fuck with that. I don't drink nothing no more. Energy drinks, get off it. Just get off it. You just, just that's, And that was all I've been doing forever. Pain pills, don't do it. Don't do it. Why? Because nope, don't do it. Don't do, don't do anything that requires needing that. If, if, if I have to, if I can avoid it at all costs, just, just stay off of Stay off of it. Stay away from uh, the things that lead to it. There's a bunch of habits out there in the world. There's a bunch of patterns. Like I said, if you eat if myself, if we eat pizza three days in a row, man. You watch Facebook. Too if, if, if I get on, I've been on, we've been on, we've been, both of us have been off social media for about seven weeks now. Strong. Wow. So this is the beginning of week seven. No Facebook, no Instagram, no nothing, no just get off of it. Why? Because if you sit on Facebook long enough, Eventually, I'm not gonna want to do shit for the rest of the day. And you want to just order a pizza? And if we order a pizza, we can just continue just sitting around and not really doing. You want to? Do you want to walk today? I don't want to walk. We just sit here. You know what I mean? And it's just that type of of sad of a. Shit. It was just a bunch of sad shit. Every time I pull up, you know what the last thing I saw on Facebook? I saw a close up of a Pomeranian puppy, and it was so cute. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a bull constricted a launch lashed onto his head. And that was the last. That was the last thing I saw. And I was like, "No more of this. <laughs> no more. No more of this. No more of this. No more of this. Wow. No more of this. I don't, no more. I, shit's got to change. We got a house, man. We're homeowners now, right? Congrats. Look, chase out. We can even. We can even turn. I don't even know how to do this anymore. No, it also our street. Like, oh yeah. 
<laughs> this ain't our tree. Look at that. I'm looking at I'm going to climb this tree. As soon as we get off the phone, I'm going to climb this tree. <laughs> man. I'm going to show you my tomato plants. Oh, wait. We've got tomato plants. Oh, wow. Like, <laughs> this, yeah. And, and, now that she's down here, man. Yeah. I stopped because no, that's not a good example. That's not a good example for her. Right, right. She can't be a world champion. She won't be a world champion if I'm living the shitty lifestyle that I'm living. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lead by example. I'm going to change up everything, whether she knows it or not. I'm going to stop my shit, and I'm going to get big with it, and I'm going to get strong on everything. And when I do that, she's got two choices. Either divorce me or keep up. And if she keeps up, she's going to be a monster. That girl's going to be a world champion. Wow. <laughs> that girl's going to... Give me yeah. clubs. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. What's this? What's this? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Look at that. Tomato plant. Look at wow. that. Oh, from seed. We grew it. Well done. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah, more of these too. That's Kevin. <laughs> That's Kevin. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Um, Kevin. Can I ask about this? Uh, you know, I don't. Ha you don't have to be, uh, you know, a detective to figure this out, but you talk about UFC 200, and, of course, Two weeks later was Rose against Carolina, and you weren't there. Is that why you yeah. weren't there? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. D did she say to you, you're not welcome? Yes. Oh, man. And I agreed. You're not welcome. You're right. Good call. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Where did yeah. you go? When I got back from Alexander, man. Huh? Oh, okay, keep going. Yeah, when you got back? I got back to from Alexandria, Minnesota to an empty house. You know, uh -huh. I knew that there's nothing in the world. I talked to him. In, she in left. My opinion. She left. In my opinion. Oh, yeah. She, yeah. It was gone. Gone. The dog, too. Everything. Gone. Wow. Gone. But not, but not in a, hey, I'm, I'm gone. Take it. Nope. I'm getting about it. I got to get out of here. And it was understood. Yes, you're right. I came home and was like, ah, oh, I knew it. I wouldn't be around me either because I'm a fucking liar. I'm just a piece of shit and I'm not living the right kind of life. And you know, what's not fair is that she started becoming me. Go back. I, I go so far as to say this, go back to any of Rose's performances that didn't seem quite right. My fault. Huh? It was me. I'll take, it was me. I was the outside distraction. This guy. Any performance, any, I mean, I mean, I'm not talking about just, just fighting. I'm talking about any interview that seems off and weird, anytime, any post that seems off and weird. If anything seemed off and weird, it's my fucking fault. So I said, I'm not doing that no more. It was me. It was me, bro. It was me. She should have been a world champion two years ago. It was me. I, it was me. I didn't know it was me. I knew, I knew I knew it was me, but I didn't know it was I didn't know it was me that much, but it was me. So yeah, the me not being at the Carolina fight, yes, that was a that was a that was a that was a great call. And it, it was just it just I, at that at that moment in my life, no, I was on I was only negative. I was only bad. I was no good. I just I wasn't I was I was just it just wasn't good, man. So I came home to uh, an empty house, and if. If you're anything like I am, there's nothing worse than that. Nothing. Nothing. No, no, nothing. Nothing. There's nothing worse than that. You know what I mean? How bad do you want to get drunk? Bad enough to have Rose and Mishka going? No. No. Where did she go? No, and it's not even that. It's not even just that. That's not even it anymore. Okay. It's literally me. I'm not doing it for me, which is what's best for everybody else. It's just it's not. I'm off it. Where, I'm off it. It's a, it's an actual 180, mm -hmm. kinda. You know, I'm just not. I'm not that guy that everybody got to know um, back then. Where did Rose go? Oh, okay. Oh wait, no, that's no, not 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 at the. What you mean like? Oh no, just. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> right. There. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um. Oh, what's uh, where, just, well, our coach Tony's house. Okay. Jiu-Jitsu coach. Okay. And wait, didn't you like move to like New Mexico or some shit? Uh, what was that? that was, uh, yeah, that no, was something else. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, just uh, over to uh, uh, 
uh, Tony's house because we have you know three coaches: me, sure, Tony, sure. And Trevor, and she was staying with Tony. And uh, Tony and Trevor uh, just handled everything. I wasn't a part of the training camp. I wasn't. Nope. I was. I was. I was all the way. Out, I was all the way out of the picture. No phone calls. No nothing. I was alone. Just me. How how difficult was it? To see her go off to Atlanta to see her fight, not be there, it didn't go her way. That was hard, man. That was you tough. Blame yourself. That was that was tough. That was that was that was that was hard to watch. That was hard to watch because, uh, like I said, I just I know the role that I that I play in um in a in a training camp or just in Rose's life period or the fact that look at what she's doing. Like it was just all around. It was hard. It was hard to watch good. It was hard to watch bad. It was hard to watch. Like, Oh my God, look at this is amazing. And at the same time, it was like, Oh my God, look, if, if, if I was there, she would never have that haircut. You know, like it was just even watching the fight. It was like, Oh man, I think that the moments in the Carolina fight where Carolina was doing her thing, I felt like as if a lot of those moments were moments would not like those were the those were the parts that I'm good for in those like in the moments where Carolina was like there were moments in the fight where Carolina was doing really well that were moments that if I was in the training camp wouldn't have happened because that that's the the part that I handle you know what I mean that kind of thing well she also had a better reason for being an ambitious too yeah, but no, no, no. She's no. I'm not saying no. I'm saying she's the, no. She's the shit. Yeah, no. She's yeah. great. She's great. I'm not saying it gets, it gets her. I'm just saying that there were moments in Rose's performance where I felt like as if the part that I would have contributed to the training camp, it would have been a little bit stronger if I was there. So I feel bad about that. That I'm thinking. But then, does she want me there? Does she not want me there? What did I do to put us in this situation? To put her in that situation? How big of a piece of shit am I to be? You know, to be causing this in her life? She doesn't deserve that. She needs better than that. She's worth. She's she's more valuable than that for me to be living a lifestyle like this, you know. So that was it. No more. So you're alone in the house. She goes off and fights. How do you get her back? Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> well, because I knew, like, I knew, like the the approach that I had in the like. I knew that Pat was the missing link. Um. For that fight. And not to say that, like, also my reasoning behind, like, why I was fighting um, at that moment, it was just like a distraction for me. Like, it's just better than facing my own reality. Um, but, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just love this guy. But, uh, I don't know. And, like, I just realized that if I, if I'm not doing it with, um, like we've been bouncing around a lot and I've never really, um, had a place to call home. And I feel like I have a home now, not just with, um, you know, an actual house, but, uh, you know, my coaches and this guy. And like, if I can't do it with them, then I don't want to do it, you know, like, cause it's, it's more about the journey and like just the experiences that we have with each other. And that makes it all, like the best the best roller coaster ever you know and i don't know i love fighting i love my coaches and i love this place so you know i knew that um i know that pat's a good person and i know that um and i believe you know in forgiveness and uh just just having a strong faith and like getting back in touch with my spiritual roots um, helped me get through the situation and, you know, help bring Pat be clean. Like I never thought back when he was doing all this stuff that I never thought I would see the day that he would be like not taking pills or drinking like that. That was, or even energy drinks for that matter of fact, like it was not even in the realm of reality. And the fact to see him not like seriously, just not even want it. Like, just disgusted by alcohol um it's it's like a miracle and i just thank god well how how soon after that fight did you did you reconcile was it right away when you got back home or was there a um, long break i mean we were even talking during you know it's just like because regardless of our like you know uh intimate relationship like i'm 
you know, I still love him as a person, as a friend. So, like, I was still talking to him throughout the entire thing, um, you know. But uh, he was, it was, uh, it was kind of hard coming back because, like, he just wanted to, like, talk to me. And I just needed a break just from everything, like, not just, like, just I just needed to recover from the fight and, like, just be by myself for a little bit. Let alone, you know, the rest of the world, obviously, to deal with. Man, so. we spent a month with, like, not no contact, seeing each other, talking this and that. And then she goes off to the fight, and the fight was all crazy. And then she comes back for the fight and still don't want to talk for, like, two weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, I was like, come on, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Just, yeah. but just just right after. We, <laughs> we, so we, we went for a walk. Okay. Yeah. And you got her back. Good hand holder. <laughs> and I'm I'm assuming you apologized and said that you were going to be clean. And, yes. Yeah. You've to, to, you've right. kept your word. And it, and it was and it was the it was the the type of apology that um it's not just I'm sorry I'll never do it again. I mean you can, there's no way of saying it that'll make it believable. Is I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. And 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 even though that is completely impossible to believe right now, I'll show you. I'll prove it. Okay. Like having a fight again. I should never do that again because I don't train right. Because I train soft and I don't train right. And I come up with a bunch of excuses not to train. So so what if what if I had six months to train for a fight and could prep for it? You know, what if I had six months for it? If I had six months, if I can't get ready for a fight in six months then I can finally stop talking all this shit. I can stop. I can just, I can finally just go, all right, I'm not going to say it anymore. I'll just continue coaching and I'm not going to talk about fighting anymore. If I can't get ready for a fight in six months, that's crazy. And guess what else? No one would believe me if I said I wanted to fight in six months. Because this is the same thing I've been saying for years. I'm going to go take a fight. And everybody's like, yeah, all right, cool, man, whatever. You're, just, you're gonna blow it off. You're gonna you're gonna come up with excuses not to train. You're gonna drink the whole time. You're gonna just do everything. You're gonna talk all this shit, but you're not gonna be ready for it. And you're gonna get into the ring with that same "I'm not ready" look on your face, and you're not gonna be ready for it. And something stupid's gonna happen. And you know what's gonna happen after you get knocked out or you lose a fight. You know what's really gonna happen. You're gonna want to fucking drink something. So why would you get in the ring and fight again? You're just talking shit. There's no way you're going to prep for it. You wouldn't do it. There's no way. Three people I've got to convince if I was to ever do that again. Trevor, Tony, and Rose. And four people I've got to convince myself, too, because in all actuality, like, <laughs> like I, don't, yeah, I can't trust me. I know exactly what to do in order to fuck this up, you know? I'm talking, I'm talking about just, and just metaphorically speaking, just I know exactly what to do to make everything bad right now. I definitely know that. So we don't go that route. We just we stay away from the that. that we way. have been doing different shit. We have been doing different shit, man. We growing tomatoes and <laughs> man, it's been working. It's been working. Valentina is here for the third time. Valentina never goes to the same training camp. She don't train the same place twice. She don't train with girls. She only trains with guys. And she's a nomad. She's was that nomad? Is that the wrong? That's the wrong yeah, word. Right. Yeah, that's right. Nomad or is it a Ronin? Okay, all right, well, one of those. She's one of them. <laughs> one of those, man. She's like she's walking the lands and training and everywhere, and she's back for the third time. Not only is she back for the third time, she brought her big sister too because her big sister's got an MMA fight the week after. And why are they coming back? Why? Because Rose shows up every day ready to make that money. Rose shows up every day. That's what we've been doing different. We changed it up. We changed up some things, man. We changed it. We changed up some things. We found a different lifestyle. We found a path that we like a lot better. Not only do we like it a lot better, I think it's, I think everybody likes it a lot better. It's more fun, it's more healthy for everybody. It's just, it's not dark anymore, it's light now. I'm not saying it was just, um, I don't mean it to be that extreme, but it's just that route, that the, the, the way that we were going, because we're still going forward, but we were going this way forward, now we're going this way, and this one's, this route's a lot more fun. Tastes better. Wow. Things taste better. That's a perfect segue. I love cooking. They taste better. <laughs> <laughs> so this, the, the, what yeah. you just said before about you know six months and 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 proving to yourself that you can do this and 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 taking a fight and going through with it, all that stuff. That is the perfect segue, right? That's the perfect segue. What do you got? Eighteenth, six five, three hundred pounds, 
big big guy uh, i've got a kickboxing match with mma gloves in miami florida i can tell you one second let me find what is the name of it it is on it is the mixed striking championship four wait hello yeah yeah we're back yeah mixed striking championship yeah, four mixed striking championship four november 18th main event kickboxing match with mma gloves What's the date? Yeah, Eric Prindle. Eric Pringle, and what's the date? Brock Lesnar's friend. Yeah. November 18th in Miami. Okay, first, there's a lot there. Kickboxing with MMA gloves. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Me neither. <laughs> Why? I've never seen it either. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know what it was. It's because things have been going the right type of way, been living the right type of rice, the right type of lifestyle. Things have been going, like I said, leading by example and this and that. And uh, Brian, uh, my manager, called me from Sucker Punch. He FaceTimed me, and I picked up the phone, and he was like, hey, man, what are you doing? And I remember our sponsor, no, it was a regular call. Yeah, what are you doing? And I was like, yes, to whatever you're calling about. I'll do it. And he says, really? And I was like, yep, yeah, I'll do it. He was like, all right. And I was like, Ooh, hold on. What did I just agree to? <laughs> what did I just agree to? I'm, <laughs> what, I'll do it, but not not everything. Uh, he's at a kickboxing match with MMA gloves in Florida against Eric Prindle main event. I said, "Yep." Just wow. tell whoever it is. Yes. And why is it kickboxing I didn't know with the MMA name gloves? Of the promotion. I don't know how many rounds is gonna. Huh? Why is it with MMA gloves and not kickboxing gloves? I have no clue. You're in though. I don't know. I didn't research anything. I just said, yes, I'll do it. November 18th, I'll be there. Wow. I'm going to punch somebody in the head November 18th. And Eric Pringle, as you mentioned, is a friend of Brock Lesnar's, or a training partner at least. Have you ever trained with him? I don't know. I think it's his former training partner. They went to school together or something. Eric Pringle, this big dude, big, big guy. Yeah, I remember him. MMA Bellator. fighter. I think he, I don't yeah. think he was in the UFC ever. I think he's mainly he's been in Bellator. Guy, but, uh, he's fought for Bellator. Bellator, that's where it is. Yeah. Bellator, big. You ever trained with him? Oh, wow. Nope. Wow, this is amazing. No. Did you feel like you needed this? No, no. Wait, 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 wait. I almost did. The first time I was out there with Brock, that was him. The first oh, yeah, time I, I do that was that him. Name. I was out there with Brock the first time when he was training, when I was out there for the first time, he was training for the fight with Kane. And I remember Eric Pring, the Prindle, they flew him in, and he went from the airport straight to the gym, and he got to the gym, matched up with Brock, and Brock camored his arm off his body. Wow. He went from the airport to the gym, <laughs> to the hospital, back to the airport, and flew oh home. My he was in and out same day. Wow. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, I saw him for about three hours. Do you feel like you have to do that? Like, is this no, part no, of the story? I never trained with him, but I was in the same room with him when, 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 yeah, when that happened. That was crazy. Do you do you feel like this is part of the story? Like you need to do this fight to tie everything together to 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 prove that you are all the way back? Is this a one off in your mind? Is this the beginning of something new? Mm -hmm. how, how do you approach this? Um, there, there's there's a there's a there's a there's a bunch of different ways this this movie can go. You know, there's a bunch of different this this movie could end with this fight November eighteenth, and I go, all right, you see, I could do it. All right, that's it, everybody. I'll see y'all later. You know, this, mm, I mean, anything could happen. I could, November 18th, this dude could punch me in the head. And all of a sudden he's like, all right, you're right. I'm going to go sit my ass down. I ain't not coming back. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go sit down forever. All right. That, that very well could happen. It's not, you know, that's not the plan. But with, with, with the way, with the changes that have been made in this household, there's no reason not to, there's no reason not to. There's no reason not to continue fighting. There's no reason not to drop down to 205 and actually give that a shot, even if it's just an experiment. There's no reason not to. Jiu-jitsu's awesome. That's been great. Competing and grappling has been pretty fun. It's actually, I've been grappling for the last however many years for so long, but actually committed to it. Like committed, I got a purple belt somehow, and I've committed. I, 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 like not thousand percent all I do is grapple, but actually actually give a fuck actually actually care about it um to where now the idea of being in a fight and falling on the ground doesn't that now that that 
I don't think I've been in a position on the ground that's it's not unfamiliar. Like it's, uh, like, you know what I mean? It's not like, oh, I'm on the ground. I guess I'm going to lose now. Right, right. <laughs> not that. So but it's just, it's exciting now because I don't think that other than, I guess, getting punched, Don, but not even, not even that. I don't think that there's been many positions on the ground that are unfamiliar now to the point of where even the thought of hitting the ground does, okay. That's no, that's no longer that's no longer that's no longer like a uh oh whatever you do don't go down because you know that's just how I, that's how I let the world say that and me believe it too and it was true. Uh, you love jujitsu. I don't love jujitsu. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, you love jujitsu. I don't. I don't. I love jujitsu. I don't. I don't. I love jiu-jitsu. I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's just jits. Just that's own all, it. You know, all plotters. Words. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm I'm not gonna stress this house out. Yeah, please. I don't stress this house. I'm not gonna stress this house out. I tell you that. And if any time between now and November 18th, I even if I even if I even slip a little bit and start slowing down, I'm gonna call it off. Okay. I'm not gonna stress this house out right now. Right now, I've uh, I've figured I found something. Right now, I've gotten on a certain lane, a certain lane, a certain gear where I wake up in the morning. Excited about waking up and getting up early and making sure that Rose is be ready for the day and we will get the muscles today and you ready to go and kill it today and because Valentina's here you got to kill it like I'm, I'm I'm and this has been really fun waking up every day going to the gym and pushing the pace on people that's it just pushing the pace everybody's because everyone get into the habit of you know the same thing over and over again so I started going to practice and actually like just I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna make sure every everybody's getting abs today we're all gonna get tired we're all gonna make it uncomfortable, take it to a different level. And I've actually been paying attention and learning. And then it's gotten to the point where like, like the curious questions or it's not just go through the motions anymore. Now, man, it's just show up, just show up to practice. You know why? Cause showing up to practice years ago was the funnest thing in the world. It was so fun. I didn't do anything else. You don't have friends. You don't talk to family. You don't do nothing. You don't eat, stay in the gym all the time. Just go to practice, going to practice. Say it solves Everything, I think. I think that's a, a way of solving everything. And if it doesn't directly co- directly solve the problem, it'll help you. Uh, it it'll help you figure it out, man. Just go to practice, and that's what I started doing again. I stopped going to practice years ago. I stopped. I gotta go to practice. I have to go to train. I've gotta go to class. I have to, and I stopped just going to practice. And we started making just going to practice m- not just a thing we have to do, but now a thing that just happens that we don't even talk about anymore. You know, you don't tell me that you had breakfast when you woke up. We, I know that. I just assume that. Like, we don't talk. We don't have to talk about going to practice. 10 o'clock. What are you doing? What the fuck do you think I'm doing? Practice. We're in practice. Getting muscles every day. All the time. Pushing the pace on everybody. Helping everybody. We're teaching kids. Help, he, old, everybody. Everybody's learning. Everybody is. There's this big. The thing that happens in gyms, man. The mm-hmm. magic that happens in a gym, like a magic that happens in a barbershop. Just go hang out in the barbershop. Old oh, heads just sit back talking all day and night. Just go to practice. You going to practice tonight? Shut up. You know, I'm already at practice. We <laughs> practice every day. It's like walking around Super Saiyan all the time. Man. You know? Instead of powering up, just be powered up always. And if that's a lifestyle, then it doesn't matter who you're fighting or when or where. Because you just, that's the life you live. Yes, having a fight is natural. Having a fight is expected. Having a fight on a certain date, on a certain, it doesn't matter where it's at or who it is, or just whatever. Is it a fight? Yes, I'll be there. I'll be ready. Are you worried at all about? And then. Yeah, go ahead. About what? About slipping. About? Right? Do you feel like you're on that that path that you, you don't think about the, the pills and the alcohol? Are, are you ever worried about slipping or do you feel like you're past that no, point? No, I'm not going. I mean, uh, the, 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 the slip worry, the slip worry automatically has to always be there, you know, sure. like it, it, you just have to, it has to always be there, even though I'm not fucking going back, but it also, you never, it's forever. It, it's never forever. You know, it's just for now, just today. One day at a time. Just today. That's right. So the slip is always there. It's always, it's always lurking around a corner. Hey man, okay. So they went ten to one thirty uh, the other day, then ten to twelve thirty the other day, and then today was ten to twelve forty-five of them Rose and Valentina just punching each other in the head. They go hard for three hours straight, 
in today. Um, I decided a few uh, last a week ago. I was jokingly saying, if I threw ten thousand power kicks on a bag, power kicks like committed, fully committed, ten thousand of them, I'd have to have new ab muscles. And then Rose says, "Do it," and I said, "Ah, shit! You heard that? Now, oh, man, our case. So now I'm gonna give it a shot, right?" So I decided because the fight is so far away right now. And my coach, my boxing coach, Trevor, he's uh, in in Las Vegas right now. Um, uh, Gaethje and uh, what he's doing out there. Mm -hmm. So he's going for six weeks. So I said, if I can achieve 10,000 kicks, which is a ridiculous number. I've never even counted 10,000 in my life. I've never done that before. 10,000. Well, that's crazy, right? If I can get 10,000 kicks and actually do it and commit, every kick is die, ah, give it to you. Just go, boom. No matter how long it takes, just not, not 100%, 71% kick. Right? <laughs> Effective power kicks on a bag. Um, then what is that? Then you got to have some kind of new, 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 new laceration somewhere. You got to have something. I mean, that, that's a good way to maybe get to a, I don't know what I'm going to do, but 10,000 kicks, right? So today I got to, we got to, what was today, 600? So 1,000 last week. Saturday hit 1,000, and then today, we hit 600 in three hours. 600 power wow. kicks. Damn. That's a really good way to go get a beer. <laughs> that's a great way to go get That's a great way to go get a beer. That's a great way to go get a beer. That's a great way to go have a shot of whiskey to order pizza. I'm exhausted right now. Like, honestly, we're on the phone. Is, is, as soon as this is over with, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just <laughs> collapse right on the floor. Just like that's, that's, that's where I'm going right there. All right, man. But, um, no, it's just, it's just, it, it's, it's, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's, you know what, too? It's, it's, it's having a house now, you know? Yeah. That too. It's, 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 yeah, I don't know. I, I don't want to, it sounds so cool. No, you have something to fight for. Like, it's not that, but, but it is that, you know? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't have any, I got no, I don't know. How to explain it? Even, even, even Trevor, my coach, is like, "Hey, dude, hone your why and what's your, <laughs> what's your purpose?" <laughs> and the only answer I can come up with is, "I have no idea, but I'm gonna go get this dude. I'm gonna just get him. I'm gonna get him, and then after that, then we'll talk about, you know." But as of right now, I'm kind of in this trance where I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go get this dude. If he survives the first two punches, he's not gonna survive the first two kicks. I, I'm gonna just go get him. After that, we'll come back and we'll reevaluate everything and we'll actually have a real discussion on, you know, what are you going to do next? And are you going to try to do this? And are you going to, or whatever the next move is? I don't know. Only thing that matters right now is November 18th and throwing 10,000 kicks before I get to it. I'm going to attack this dude. I'm going to attack him. I'm going to attack him when the bell rings. I'm going to just attack him. I'm going to go up and try something I've never done before. I've never just, I'm going to just go at him. Wow. <laughs> I, I am very thankful for for you today, Pat. I uh, I didn't know that you guys would open up like this, and uh, I re it really means a lot that you would, um, because I've been bothering you for so long. Well, thanks, man. Well, it means it means the world to me, really, that I, you would do I, that. I, is, but I told you a while ago. I told you a while ago that I, that I would tell you. I didn't think it was going to take that long, but I couldn't. I, it's just. Way to keep I, suspense, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you any day now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, but I'm really. But but yeah yeah. Thanks for being patient with me, man. I don't know. There's a lot. There's more. There's 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 a lot more, bro. But it's but it's but it's it's good stuff. There's nothing. It's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. And, and if any of this, and I would even go so far as to say this, that what I said today isn't unfamiliar to a lot of people out there. Mm -hmm. A lot of people listening. It's not unfamiliar. Man, yeah. there's a lot of fucking people that drink way too much. Mm -hmm. Damn, she's just all right. <laughs> hey, hold on, man, go to sleep. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's there. There's a lot of people that understand what I'm saying, and there's a lot of people that hear it, and there's a lot of people also out there that hear it that don't know that they hear it. But yeah, it's 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 it's, it's out there. I'm not. It's just I'm. I know. I know. I know what it was. What what I had to change about my lifestyle and um uh that i think is beneficial um in every aspect of my life it's just things have to change and they've been up and up ever since now i'm not saying this this is the answer right. but i definitely know like i said i know how to fuck everything up 
And as long as I don't do that, then we'll see how things keep rolling. Well, I, I wish you nothing yeah. but the best, man. I'm really happy for you that you've you've gone on that path, as you said. I feel like on this show, you, you've been coming on and so kind with your time for so long. Um, I feel like we've kind of seen you both as, as a couple grow up in many ways. I mean, you've been coming on for like six, seven years now. So to open your lives up to us here and tell you tell us a bit about what you've been through is, um, is, is I, I mean, I'm at a loss for words. So I, I really have a lot of respect for both of you and I wish you both nothing but the best. And how about this scene? November 4th, Madison Square Garden, you're fighting November 18th. Rose showing up to your fight, you know, as, as a UFC champion. Wow, what a story that would be. What a story that would be, so... That would be a really cool story. That would be a really cool story. That would be. <laughs> That'd be a really cool story. Yeah. We got, some cool stories. we got a lot of cool stories, man. That would be a cool story. Before, right before, same yeah. night, two weeks after. Don't matter when it is. We'll do it on Tuesday. She's ready. Don't matter. She's ready. It's All time. the best to you guys. We got it. Keep it up. Stay in touch. There's lots more to discuss, but for now, we shall say goodbye. Take care, Rose. Thank you oh, for the time as well. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I really hey, appreciate Ray, later, it. Man. We'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye. Wow. Later. Bye. Pat Barry, Rose Namajunas, what can you say? That was, uh, wow, that was something else.